Hi y'all, this is Max from ZeroMax.com and Droid2Hacks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Sonic uh, Sega emulator on your phone. So let me start over here. So first, you'll want to, uh, let's first uh, go to market and we're going to download a bunch of stuff. So first, type uh, Genzoid, S-O-I-D, right? and download uh, the free version. You can pay for it if you want but they have the Gensoid Lite, this one and you install it. I already installed it, okay? And you don't have to open it right now. And then you also need Andro Zip. Andro Zip. Okay. And install that too. I've got it installed already. And then now you need ROMs, um, so go open up your browser and type, uh, go to Google and type uh, whatever ROM you want. So I'm going to go Sega uh, Sonic ROM, okay? And uh, sometimes it might be hard to find, but eventually you'll be able to find somebody who has it. And I found rom-world.com is really good. So let me go there, and then you um, should be able to find it here. So you see Sega, the Hedgehog, uh, the US Game Gear, US 2 and 3. So I'm just going to download um, the US version. I've actually downloaded it already. And uh, why you need the Android zip is that a lot of these files are, are zipped and you can copy it over from your computer to your SD card but it just takes that much longer and why bother when you can just download it so I found that the Droid 2 is like awesome for playing games just because it has a physical keyboard you don't have to mess with the uh, it's a full gaming experience in other words so download it and uh, when that's downloaded as a zip file, simply open it. Open it using Andro Zip. And then and then go back to home and then uh, go find your Gensoid again. Should be here. Gensoid light. There we go. And then oops. Let me let me do it again so you can see. Um, do it. So when you open up Gensoid you're gonna uh, you can browse to the directory and it's gonna be under Andro zip where you unzipped it that's where every file is unzipped and just simply hit that and you got Sega and uh, before you begin you, you wanna hit menu and go to settings and uh, change the, the um, don't don't use virtual keyboard but click on uh, keyboard mappings and then you can set your buttons like for up I put W down Z left A a right S so and I've got IOP as ABC buttons and I think that's all I need and you can set different buttons however you like it that's the beauty of having a physical keyboard and then start is enter for me so let me play around real quick show you how cool this is this, this is much easier than playing with uh, something else. Uh -oh. I found that I have an HTC Evo and also other phones, but man, you can't really play as good as you can play on this one because the physical keyboard makes so much difference and you can see the whole screen while you're playing it. So I guess in that regards, this, you know, this is a lot better, a lot finer, refined controls. I can do, you know, I can do really well on this one, just like a real game. So let me finish up this round real quick. Yo, yep, yep, So next time we'll also install. Uh, oh, I missed the ring. Great. Anyway, that was how to, how to install um, Sega Genesis ROM and play games and also set your keyboard. Um, I'll have a Super NES next, so see y'all later.
and subscribe to uh, droid2hacks.com for more tips and hacks.